Hi, and welcome to Looking Glass's tutorial on Voxatron. By the end of this tutorial, you should have a basic understanding of how Voxatron works and be able to make your own simple game. To get started, hook up your Looking Glass to your computer, open up the Voxatron app, and then open the Designer tab in the main menu. When you first open up Voxatron's Designer, you'll see that the room editor with a pre-made player shows up on your screen and Looking Glass. If you hit play, or shortcut P, you can immediately play around, move the player with your arrow keys, jump with the spacebar, and shoot with X. First we'll go over the basics of the room editor. The first box at the top of the screen shows the object that you've selected in the editor folders. If you click that tool, you'll be able to edit that object's properties or how it looks in the voxel editor. Next to that is the place object box which allows you to place the selected object anywhere in the room. To the right of that is the tool that allows you to pick up a color or object. So clicking the floor of the room will grab its color, or clicking the box in the room will select that box. To use the stamp tool, use the select box to click or circle objects you want to copy and paste into the scene. Once an object or objects are selected, you can move them with the arrow keys, drag them around with the mouse, or use Ctrl A and Ctrl Z to raise and lower their positions. The last box, the pan tool, allows you to shift the entire room around. Okay, let's make a game. First I'll show you how to build an object in the voxel editor. The first tool in the voxel editor is the Build Voxels tool, which allows you to place one voxel at a time in the space. Next is the Paint tool, the Get Color tool, the Stamp tool, which functions similarly in the room scene, the Box tool, which allows you to drag to fill voxels in the space, the Select tool, the Fill tool, which enables you to fill an area completely with voxels, and then lastly, the Move Camera tool. Let's build our first object. I'm going to make a pink crystal. You can see your object live in the looking glass as you build it. To erase voxels, click the X box in the color palette and use the build voxel or box tool. Another thing to note is the mirror tool, symbolized by the butterfly on the bottom left of the screen, which allows you to make symmetrical changes to your object. Place your object in your room. To rotate it after placing it, use Ctrl R, and then to edit it after creating it, simply click the object in the tool set at the top and then make the changes that you want. Voxatron already has a bunch of ready-made stuff to use to make a game, including players and monsters. So I'm going to show you a quick way to make your own customized character in Voxatron using one of those as a template. Let's copy the robot character in the player's folder and paste it with Ctrl V into the same folder. I'm going to rename my character to Lover. When you open up the folder with your copied player, you'll find it's made up of animation folders. This character has animations for shooting and animations that are already linked to some pre-made pickups that we're going to copy. Let's open up the first object in the folder and change it. I'm going to make my new character taller and pink to match the pink crystal room.
After we build the basic version of our character, we're going to split them into body and feet animations. In the body animation folder, paste the character that you just made and then delete the legs and feet. Then, in the feet animations folder, paste the same object and delete the body. Make sure you're copying the entire object in the folder and not selecting the object in the voxel editor to paste it. We want to make sure the size and positioning of the character is in the right position and matches the rest of the frames. Now I'm going to make a simple walking animation similar to the robot. Make sure the symmetry tool is unselected when making the animation. We'll do the same with the right and left shooting player the laser player, twirly gun, and grenade player, using the body from the body animations and changing the positioning of the arms. Now we have our character. Now, let's reskin the laser pickup in the same way that we made our character. Go to the pickups folder and open up the laser. I'm going to rename it to Love. Inside, you'll find an animation and inventory item. Open up the animation and change it to how you'd like. This is what the player can pick up in the room to use the laser gun. Let's modify the inventory item's animation to have the word Love on it instead of Laser. This name will show up on the HUD as the name of the item that's equipped for the player. Okay, let's customize the laser gun a little bit. Reopen the player folder and open the laser player we modified earlier. Next to the animation we changed, there's an object that's an emitter. Click through that folder until you find the animation that's the bullet for the laser. Now let's mess with it. Now that we're done, we can place the pickup object in the scene. Something to note, mess with the spawn position of the emitter to better match where you want it to emerge in relation to your player. Okay, let's check out how that looks in the looking glass. We have a player and a weapon, so let's add monsters. Open up the monster folder and place monsters in the scene. You can either place a bunch of monsters in, or you can enter the number of how many you want in the box under the editing room box. In that same box, I'm going to make these monsters a room goal by checking the star. This means that if I destroy all of the monsters in the room, the room state will be set to cleared. Lastly, we're going to add a door to the scene. Doors in Voxertron are cool because they can lead to other rooms you've created, can be triggered to appear or be opened after achieving certain goals, and can be created to look like anything you want. But for now, we're just going to use the standard archway that's already in the doors folder. Let's set it to be triggered only when the room is set to clear by changing true to world and then room clear. So now this door will only appear when we've set the room to clear by destroying the monsters. Oops, I died. But also I forgot something really important anyway. Reopen the object and make sure your door is set to open and check world goal. That means you beat the game when you reach it. Okay, now let's check out our game.